my name is Brewster Waddell. Uh, I'm from Frisco, Texas. I vote in the state of Texas. And my Republican heritage is that I, my great grandfather was presidential candidate for the Republican Party back in 1916 that lost to Woodrow Wilson. He was also uh, mayor of New York City and chief justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. I have been sitting on the board of Charles Evans Hughes Foundation since 1997, and I've also been president of it. In this last election, I voted for Paul Ryan because I did not want to vote for Trump. I didn't feel that he was the right candidate, and I did not want to vote for Hillary. I, I think that President Trump has really mishandled the, 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 the social unrest in both Kenosha and in, in Portland and in other parts of the country. He does not have the ability to be able to understand what is going on in our country and how to, to basically mend the problems that we have at this point. You cannot have militias running around with basically carrying you know, uh, semi-automatic weapons, running amok in trying to control pro protesters in venues that are basically their secure jurisdictions by the police department. I'm absolutely in, in, um, on the side of the mayor of Kenosha saying that he should not be allowed to come and fan the fire in, in Wisconsin and, and or being there and fanning the fire with militias in Portland. I mean, we don't need militias. This is not the Revolutionary War. I mean, you know, they say Joe Biden's going to bring civil unrest to the country. Well, hmm, let me see. We got civil unrest in this country. And guess what? You're president. It's not Joe Biden's problem. He didn't create it. You created it. He's going to have to fix it. I think what President Donald Trump did by violating the Hatch Act and having the RNC celebrate his re-election nomination at the, at the House of the People is absolutely outrageous. Look at what the Secretary of State did in Jerusalem. There's nobody in his administration that respects any law that's been established you know, in the Constitution of the United States. And I don't think anybody has read the Constitution that works for him in his administration. The, the president's handling of the coronavirus is absolutely shameful. Absolutely shameful. 180,000 people dead in this country. I don't think there is a plan. I don't think he cares about a plan. Uh, he didn't care about it in the beginning. The fact that he took this, the CDC and all the experts and the scientists and the people that make a living trying to save our, you know, to save us in a situation like this and just made a mockery of them. I am voting for Joe Biden on November 3rd. And the reason that I'm voting for Joe is because Joe has a, a, an extensive track record on Capitol Hill um, in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, he's a very steady hand that we need. He's a steady voice and, and a voice of experience at this point and somebody that it has the ability to heal the, com the country, and not only that, but also mend the relationships that have been ruined across the world with our other allies.